hi everyone welcome back to my channel uh sorry about this my daughter just did it <laughs> so when you're a mom um, beside the changing of the clothes for the kids uh you should also change yourself i know but anyway i i again i said anyway i should not say anymore anyway sorry but i've I haven't recorded any video lately because I didn't have any time whenever I, I was trying to find a little time my girls were around and they were not letting me <laughs> now it's that time that they are starting to fight for their toys or their iPad so uh, first of all I hope everyone is okay with the um, uh, COVID thing and uh, sorry for my hair but they are still growing and they go like uh, like I had the, I, I like had been in a storm weather but anyway uh, so uh, what I wanted to talk today is about my story of um, how I inverted to Islam like uh, I've I, I saw this terminology uh, recently uh, why they call it invert invert because it's like the Muslim people always uh, are it is said that hi, like, mama. hi it is said like we are mama? we are born Muslims but society and or maybe uh, parents and family or uh, whoever is around us changes the babies so uh, I want to talk to you uh, how I became a Muslim and first of all before uh, I was a very religious person like not too too much religious but I was religious on my way uh, as an Orthodox so my, my religion my previous one was uh, a Christian Orthodox and I was always going to the church and uh, trying to follow the rituals and i was always believing you know i had this faith inside me that and today what is important is to have faith in something because if you don't have faith in something then for what you're going to live like um some people will always like fall mostly in depression and uh, in weakness and sometimes in those times when you believe when you believe in something then you feel much more stronger and you will not do like too many mistakes and this stuff. So, uh, if people that know me will see this video, they will think that um, I became Muslim because of my husband, but actually it wasn't like that. First uh, of all, uh, like when I was Christian before, uh, I never believed jesus as god so i always believed i always in my mind even though i was going to a church in my mind i was always believing that he was a prophet so actually when i came uh, in saudi arabia here the islamic religion is much more pure is more real according to what i've seen before like in my country and the media and uh, people in general they try to to make it a, a very bad religion but actually it's according to its name peace so this is a peaceful religion and um, so one of the things is that here uh, when i had like a conversation before uh, they were telling me oh okay look you are a christian you believe in as uh, jesus is god and uh, i was always like I, in that moment first time in my life i i, I got surprised with myself because the whole time i was thinking that no he's a, he's a prophet i don't consider him as god god is just one god and i was like trying to argue with people here and uh, then I understood that uh, even though I was Christian before, actually I've been Muslim the whole time. My ideas inside me, I'm a I used to be, I mean, I'm a little bit conservative as a person, but I used to be conservative also before. And like, even though I, sometimes I was trying to do like, uh, uh, trying to, to follow the society, but inside me, I was always very conservative as a person and uh, 
when I heard this, I was like, I, I shocked them actually. And uh, they, I, I, I was telling like, no, wait, I, I never, I was, I'm Christian, but I'm never believing Jesus as a, as a God. So you, as a, whoever is watching me now, you can uh, say that, okay, you, you were Christian, even though you are not believing in, uh, in Jesus as God. Yeah, that's why one of the reasons I inverted is because it was pointless to be Christian when most of the Christian uh, uh, understands Jesus as a God. And as long as uh, I was I, I was being in a place that that um, uh, it wasn't feeling right from the from this part, like uh, why to be Christian, uh, even though I was Christian, but uh, why to keep going being in Christian when um, only me, in myself, I was thinking this. Meanwhile, the other Christians are thinking uh, uh, Jesus is God. And that if I would be, if I would still stay Christian, then I would try to be lying to myself and uh, and maybe accept what what they were doing and I wouldn't have underst uh, understood it so this is one of the reasons that I, I always believed in it and I found it here that it was true and I will not go into too many details like whoever wants to know more about Islam and about uh, the Islamic religion uh, can easily google it and and also uh you see many videos uh on youtube from different sheikhs sheikhs are, are people who who preach the islamic uh, uh religion so uh, above above all of this uh this one this was the main one like jesus for me is a prophet and uh, uh after that, uh, I remember from the Bible that he was saying that after me will come somebody else. And he was never and uh, ever saying that, look, I'm God. Like, uh, I'm, I'm, he was also man always mentioning like my father in Bible or, um, he was always praying. And uh, Jesus cannot pray to himself if he would be a, a, a God. Uh, like, uh, also if, if we think from the, another perspective, then, like it was a miracle from god okay i i believe that um, if people would see this as, as a son of god then uh i mean he was like he's called the son of god meanwhile he was god it has no logic in this uh like even adam if, as long as he was um the first uh, person then uh he's uh like his god like he, we cannot uh, we can also compare him like like he's God, but he's not. So people uh, like this is very contradic contradictive. Like has no logic. But above all of this, anyway, uh, what I uh, believed also is that in the freedom of uh, that the religion that Islam has, uh, it it makes sense as a religion. And I'm not in. Uh, uh, in the deeply side, like uh, I'm trying to follow what I can, and hopefully one day I can uh, follow it as my heart says to follow it, and as it says in Quran. But I always follow things when it makes sense, and uh, these things like clicked on me, and it really made sense, and it I felt the whole energy that I never felt in Christianity. In Christianity, I felt only words and theories, but uh, even though I was trying to believe in them, and actually I feel like a little bit brainwashed in, Christi in Christianity than in Islamic religion. Uh, Islamic religion is, uh, is something uh, totally different that makes me think that it's the truth. And uh, I don't believe that religious religion had to come like directly in one. Islamic religion came in parts. Um, people uh, years to years they have 
be, they are becoming smarter and smart and smarter you cannot give the to the first thing like you can uh, islam couldn't come directly as a whole thing since in the beginning of time so that's why god sent prophets and sent parts and parts uh, that like chapters and chapters to to prepare people but people eventually historically they uh, a group of people they stuck in one in one uh, prophecy mm -hmm. and then they stuck in another one so uh, they kept calling that a religion but and uh, it's very logical now because we can all say like why not it's not coming anything yet anymore like there's no more prophet there is no more religion so it's obviously that this was the last religion and the last chapter that concluded the whole religion that is islam and the prophet muhammad was his uh, was the last uh, prophet so as a person i always believed jesus is a prophet and i always believed in one god so it was useless for me to stay in a religion that was taught other people different things so in conclusion, this is how I, I inverted to, to Islam and there's no brainwashing for me, there's nothing because I always was a religious person but uh, I was not always fulfilled. I had a lot of questions about Christianity even though I was not expressing them but deep down inside me whenever I was going to the church I, I had like a million questions. It was like a sign like look you're not in the, in the right place. So this is my story and maybe uh, whoever uh, Muslim person is following me uh, or, or looking at me right now, maybe they will say like, oh, you're not covered. Exactly. That's what Islam uh, is, is an understandable religion and does not force you to do things when you're not ready to do and I'm not ready to, to do this part but uh, I respect it and uh, and uh, I'm trying as much as I can to be from now and on uh, a Muslim and hopefully I'm actually I'm feeling much more better with this religion um, people do not create Islam Islam is something holy that came directly from God and I'm not like a person who follows other people like uh, I just follow the concept of it and um, as I said before it made sense and I can see the energy in me even if people might be bad or good like everywhere in the world I cannot connect it with Islam I mean, Islam is a religion, it's a peaceful one. And whenever uh, I face something like I don't like in the world or I don't like in one place, I never connect it with Islam because it's totally a different person, uh, sorry, a different, a different thing. And uh, one thing that made me understand is the power and the and the results of your prayer whenever you pray in islam it comes back to you and this is something that i never felt before and whoever tries it will understand i cannot talk more because maybe you will not understand and i'm not a professional one in this i just i'm just giving my own uh, experience and i'm happy with uh, what i know and uh, people have their own ideas but Sometimes you have to Google, you have to search to understand and mostly to read. <laughs> Thank you for watching me today and please don't forget to subscribe on my channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Um, the link will be down below. So see you next time. Bye.